Hello everyone! So I decided since the LED matrix that I made in the last video is fairly complicated to write code for, that I would try to make something simpler today. Something that's much easier to write Arduino code for, and that is a 3x3x3 LED cube. So the nice thing about an LED cube of this variety is that it's extremely simple. You just need an Arduino, 27 LEDs, 3 current limiting resistors, in this case I'm using 220 ohm resistors again, and basically a breadboard to tie them all to, and to tie the connections from the Arduino to. So what I figure is that since this is much simpler to code for, it will be a lot easier to determine how the LED matrix works and just kind of learn how matrixing LEDs works, because it works in the same principle. It's multiplexing of LEDs, it's just doing it in three dimensions instead of two dimensions. So I got the basic instructions for how to build this and the code snippet for how to run it off of the internet, and I will leave a link to that below in the description if you want to take a look. The first thing is making the layers of the cube, since there will be three layers of nine LEDs. So what I did is I took a bit of graph paper, and I measured out one inch by one inch and put a dot. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape this down to this little cardboard box. I'm going to mark these holes and then I'm going to poke through the box so that the LED can sit in the hole in the box. And that'll just give it something to support it so that when we're bending the legs it'll be much easier to solder them all together. So just to make sure that that doesn't slip around while I'm poking the hole through it, I'm just taking some masking tape. Now we want to mark this. I'm just going to use a Sharpie marker. Make sure it soaks through the paper to the cardboard, hopefully. Now you don't have to be super ridiculously precise. Check and see if those went through, yep. So now the box is marked with where we need to poke holes. So I'm just using the opposite side of my pointer. It just happens to be a screwdriver to break the box first. Theoretically now I should be able to take a slightly bigger screwdriver. Yes, perfect. Perfect size. Okay, so next up we are going to insert the LEDs. Now we want the negative leads to be bent over and connected. So however you want to do that is fine. And we want the positive leads to stay straight upright. And if you only just poke those holes like I did, then make sure you insert the LEDs a couple of times just to loosen up the cardboard. Because once you have nine of these LEDs stuck in there, if they're stuck in the cardboard, it's going to be annoying to try and get them out. Just loosening up all of the cardboard. So the nice thing is this gives us a very flat, stable base. Because of the little lip here around the LED, it actually prevents it from falling through the box. So that gives us a very solid surface to work with. And it prevents you from putting the LED in too far, so they're all pretty much the same height. So what we're going to do is bend the negative lead over on all of these. So you may think that this could be a problem, and it could, but the nice thing is I have wire for this exact purpose. If you don't have pre-stripped wire or tinned wire, then you can of course just use regular wire and pull the core out of it. So what I'm going to end up having to do is connect all of those like that. Okay, so now we have all of the little bits of wire we need. There's going to be a wire going across each of these connect the legs. So there's going to be a wire going like that on each of these and then there's going to be a wire going across the middle and we're actually going to do two wires across the middle just to make this a little bit more stable. 
basically going to look something like that when it's done, a hash pattern of sorts. So that gets that nice and short, and it's nice, well connected in there. This end is well connected as well. Now we do that again. Now we're going to connect all of these together, hopefully not desolder them. Then you're just going to do this three more times. doesn't get tricky until we actually start connecting the vertical pins is one layer of the LEDs so I'm going to do the rest of them off camera just to make it a little bit quicker and easier for myself but that's basically you want three of these once you're done and we'll cut back to after I'm finished with these Okay, so you can see that I have all three of these assembled now. Now what we have to do is line them up. So we want the base of each LED to be about an inch apart. So it will hopefully be something along those lines, which means we're going to need little bits of wire to jump across. So what I'm just doing is going to bend the leads so that they're all slightly at an angle to make it easier to run a wire across them. So now we need to connect the columns so we have all of the LED legs bent a little bit. So that'll hopefully make it so that I can connect a wire to each of these and everything will work out. It's going to bridge these nicely and still stick out at the bottom for connecting the cube. The same kind of process as we did before. Once we get one whole row done, it becomes a lot easier because everything will hold itself together a bit. So we're going to start with that rear section.
here is the almost finished cube. So we just have to finish attaching the cube to the board itself. I've just bent over the leads right now just to make it so it doesn't pull off the board. Now we're going to solder them down and then cut them off. And we're going to attach the wires and hopefully get this thing running. cube is now secured to the board. You can see solder points there. So now what we have to do is we have to run a cable to each of these which will then go into all of the different points on the Arduino. Grab the resistor, grab the wire, and solder them together. Flip it over. The wires are in their places now. So the biggest advantage to constructing it like this is that you can swap around the wires without any issues. So if you get them in the wrong order, that's not a big deal. Arduino sits here. Pin one is going to go into pin two on the Arduino. So that'll be the first yellow one. We'll come to two hopefully. That's where we find out if we made the wires long enough. And yes, we did. And the next yellow goes to pin three. Next yellow one goes to pin four. Black pins go into the analog pins, pin 0, 1, and 2. So that's theoretically it completed. Let's see if the code uploaded correctly. It works! climbing and it's lighting up each LED in sequence in the correct order. Oh well that was, that's, that's nice. Okay, so that is our basic, let's get off the thing a bit. So that is the LED cube. Now I don't have anything fancy happening with it. It's just the basic light one LED and then continue sketch because that was the simplest and building it took quite a lot of time so I haven't had time to play with it yet. But it will be a fun thing to add to my Arduino videos if I ever start on those again. And also it's just a interesting project to play with in Arduino because it's fairly easy to program it it's just a matter of seeing what you can do with it. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Tinkering with Terrius. If you did enjoy the episode, then be sure to give it a big thumbs up and share it if you would like. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them in the section below or email them to me or tweet them to me. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel and you want to see more content like this, then be sure to click the subscribe button and click the little bell icon to notify you whenever I post a video. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.